We thank Kenyans, but it is we, the political class especially, that is leading the charge in defying laid down protocol. So he ugonjwa ikiendelea kusambaza tujiangalie sisi wenyewe mbele ya tuanze kuangalia wananchi. Uh, here nimesema 200 good. As we progressively de-escalate the containment measures and resume a sense of normalcy on education our paramount consideration both as a government but also as parents is the safety and well-being of our children. The lives of our children and their health is not a matter for debate. Learning institutions, therefore, should only be reopened when we have and can sufficiently guarantee the safety of all our children. And here, I really would plead with Kenyans that us not focus ourselves on when schools will reopen, but how shall these schools open in a manner that protects our children and protects their lives and their health. Tafadhali, to see where tunapigana, juya, mambo ambaye, yeah, let us think first about their health and well-being and once we have established how, then together we will agree when. So therefore, the resumption of in-person learning must be predicated on strict adherence to the health protocols and guidelines as issued by the Ministry of Health. So therefore, I call upon the Cabinet Secretary for Education once we have agreed on the how, he will thereafter immediately issue a calendar for the resumption of the 2020 academic year, if it is to be, or if it is going to be 2021. How. As I give these directives, I underscore the need to continue adhering